Hey uh, everyone, uh, there's a multiple different way uh, we can install Python. One of the uh, most sophisticated way or I can say the recommended way is we can use a, a program called Anaconda, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search here uh, Python Anaconda, Anaconda download, right? So this is one company as I can say the distributor of the Python, right? And if I go and click on this particular link, right? It will give you a way through which we can download some software and that software will help us to install Python in our laptop. Now, depend upon your base system, uh, where you want to install Python, maybe in your Mac, maybe in Linux, or maybe on the top of Windows, they have a different, different installer available. So if you see in the right side, there's a, a different options they have. Right now, my current operating system is uh, Windows, but you might have your Mac with you, Apple laptop with you. So you can just click on the Apple and they will give you respective software to download. And after download is not so much typical, just double click and, and that's all right. It will install for you. But let me show you very quickly how we can install Anaconda uh, on the top of Windows. So there's option here to download. Okay, and they start downloading for you. Uh, the software is around 500 MB plus, so depending upon internet speed, they will download. And after they download, how we can install, I will explain you in a minute. Now, in my case, uh, the Anaconda uh, software has been downloaded, and we are going to use this software to install or set up Python in our laptop, right? And Python is a programming language, depend what purpose you are going to use Python for. You want to use Python to uh, create your some app your web app, your API programming, your scientific calculation, you want to uh, do something on quantum computers or you want to do something data science. So it's a multi-purpose language depend upon your requirement and use case. Uh, but your yeah, minimum requirement would be we have to install Anaconda to set up the Python, right? So I double click on this uh, link or you can go to your download and double click there. So I'm double clicking on this particular software called EXE in my windows. So this first welcome page uh, uh, comes over here and they welcome you about this version. So nothing very fancy, just click next. Again, accept the agreement, click next. And again, click next, right? Nothing to change. Again, click next. And next, it is a location where this software is going to be installed in your respective operating system. Okay, again, click next. But I uh, recommend here, guys, this is a very important option here. Okay, according to Anaconda, they say here not recommended, don't select this option. But according to me, you have to select this option over here. Let's call add Anaconda 3. If you don't select this option, it won't set up your path. Path means in the future, if you want to run any Python related command from your terminal or Windows command prompt, it won't give you by default. So you have to do some extra effort to set up this in the future, but I recommend right now, okay, uh, you know, uh, just select this option. It will help you in some way. Those who know about path, okay, it will set the path for you. So don't forget to uh, select this option. You have to select this, right? And then click install. And that's all guys, this is a simplest way we can install and set up the python with the help of anaconda software it takes some second depend upon your system speed okay but uh, one question you may have in your mind uh, why we are using anaconda uh, to install python because there's some other way also we can also go to python sites and download the python install for us right one of the great thing anaconda provide you they provide you a lot of python libraries okay uh, depend upon your requirement to requirement right what I mean by libraries, uh, you can think uh, you can think mobile phone is like your Python, and all the app in the mobile phone, right? It is like a library. So this is the one analogy you can use. So in the Python, if you want to do something, so for everything you need some extra library to perform, right? For example, if you want to do something on machine learning, we have a different library for the machine learning to perform with the, so that Python can perform uh, something on the machine learning with the help of this library. For example, if you want to use quantum computers, 
so they have a library for example Qiskit, right to perform something on the quantum computer side right? so depend upon your requirement which field you want to use python almost every field has their respective library so that python use those library to perform something so all those library almost all the library guys is been given by anaconda and pre-installed uh, for you in your laptop okay so almost all the common libraries anaconda will install for you automatically otherwise you always uh, go and download and install it it will be time consuming right this is one benefit why i am suggesting anaconda to use i'm still waiting this software to be installed right it might i believe it might take some more second uh, to install in my laptop so it takes around some minute uh, one or two minutes in my case to install this software and if you click on the one button here uh, see details you will see this screen that is completed right and now the setup is done we can click next and now we can click again next and finish it right so this one guys so simple right uh, we have the anaconda installed right and now behind the scene they give us uh, python to use with a lot of python libraries okay so if you want to use the python again anaconda give you multiple different way to use the python one of the simplest way would be i can go to uh, uh, an open my terminal uh, depend upon your operating system in windows the terminal is known as command prompt right so i go to my search bar in the bottom and if i type cmd and it will open the windows terminal or the command prompt for me this is a black screen okay now uh, if you type python here right and hit enter okay you will see this kind of screen come up okay this screens tell you multiple thing first thing is python installed successfully there is no error come up python installed with the help of anaconda and second thing is they are talking about uh, they are showing you this uh, three greater than symbol are also known as REPL R E P L means if you want to do anything in the Python if you want to type any code and want to run from here you can run it so technically Python has installed uh, successfully if you want to take out or come out from this prompt you get this option called func exit right that is known as exit function right it will take you out from this Python prompt but this screen tell you the Python install uh, successfully right uh, python language is not enough we need some extra library that anaconda provide to you okay if you want to see the entire list of library that provided by the anaconda to the python so there's a command called pip list so pip is one command right is helpful for the python so in the future if you want to install any libraries or you want to upgrade or delete or uh, check the list of all the library you have in the python you can use pip as a command as a python installer right i'm just trying to check all the libraries that i have right now provided by the anaconda so guys this is a long list if you see the long list a lot of libraries they have provided if you go up and there's a multiple library like sci-fi and much more library depend upon your area of interest from data science to quantum computer to cloud computing right to scientific calculus and so almost every kind of libraries they have or if you don't find any of the library here we can also install uh, with the help of pip command uh, with the pip install command right depend upon the requirement the, for example there's one library they have okay this is called jupyter okay it's a very interesting library so this library provide the jupyter library provide a way through which we can do a python programming very much simply right so they at least technically they are providing you web based id integrated development environment where we can type the code run the code manage the code something like this right so jupyter is again one kind of a library given by the python you don't have to install it because we installed a python with the help of anaconda anaconda automatically provided to this library to us right how can we use this is pretty simple just go down go to your windows command prompt and type jupyter j u p y jupyter space notebook notebook means they will provide you one page or one notebook where we can type a python code and manage the code there only so if you type this command jupyter space notebook and hit enter it will automatically open one page in your default browser in my case is a chrome and they they've opened this browser over here okay what can you do all right you this option here in the top right uh, corner this called new option here if you click and you can see here i want to launch 
Python 3 notebook means I want to log open a one page where I can do Python coding right so a new page open and get this is the screen from where we can do Python coding very simply so if you know anything about Python coding you can type entire code from here run from here manage the code from here and you can do much more thing by this particular page so I just giving you as an example right like this there's a multiple different library available right in the Python every library is doing something for you but main motto for this video is how we can install python so that what we have done successfully uh, with the help of anaconda software so enjoy python take care